Well, it's a shade after four. It's been like this all day. It's not raining right this second. But it has been. I don't know if anybody went today or not. I just know I didn't go. But I did work on some knives that I told you about. I got me a dual, added another light to my table. I wasn't happy with the lighting. So I got two lights now. And that's about it for right now. That's one of my restaurant accounts. I gotta take them back tomorrow. And I got I think eight more restaurant knives in here. Soaking. Sanitizing. Bleach. And then I'll be done for the day. They're all dried off and ready to go to delivery. Now, I took it out of the rice. I put it all back together. D-E-A-D. -E Large D. D-A-D. -E That's what happens sometimes when you're a rocket scientist. <laughs> God. What do you think, Indians? Big old Jack? Rocket scientist, right? You're a circus trained dog and I'm a rocket scientist. Well, that's right. Uh, Big old Jack. Well, it's Tuesday morning. Steady raining. Well, it's not hard now, but it has really rained hard. It's uh, it's nice though. It's only like 50. They claim it's going to be 60 today. If it rained, would have quit a little teeny bit. We could get in a spin this afternoon. The tide's low, like at 5:30. You know, it's dark then here. We'll see how it goes. We got some knives to pick up. I don't know. I think it's seven knives. I don't even know what kind they're having because I haven't seen them yet. We're going to go get them in a few minutes. Stand by. Well, I got the knives. I haven't looked at them yet. So seven knives and one pair of scissors. We'll be home in a couple of minutes. Okay, let's see what we got here in this bag. Out of there. Look like hangles from here. Might be a whoosh though, but I'm thinking hangles. The whole family of them. Oh, yeah, I can see the hangle on the scissors. See what we got here. We got a big chef's knife. We got a slicer. We have a Santuco. Now this could be a different bird here. Well, let's see, you know, the logo has got a different kind of handle on it, you know. We got a serrated knife, bread knife, a baby Santuco, and a little para. All right, let's go to work. It's this little serrated knife slipped under the bag. I didn't see it. With one, two, bag says seven, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven and one pair of scissors. Okay, that makes better sense. Well, I got the knives done. I got the gear in the truck. I just got to put my gear on. Stand by. Yeah, the hankles all, all sharpened and everything. I got to wash them. Put them in some sleeves. Take them back tomorrow. That's the end of this video on this camera. I'm switching cameras going to the GoPro. 
whatever you call it, that little square job I use. Hero Sessions, I think it's called. Stand by. See you in the cave. Well, we're at the cave. I ain't too high happy though. I mean, it's no wind, no waves, but just take a look at that. The other day when we were here, you could walk under the pipe. The tide is way up. Oh, that's bad. That's B-A-D. Stand by. Hey, I'm wearing my dry top, kayak dry top I call it. I have two of these. One of them has a tight rubber neck and tight rubber sleeves. Whereas this one just has Velcro. It's a lot nicer when it's not really cold and you're not planning on getting wet and it's raining. This is just a Velcro around your neck. I've had it for, I don't know, six or seven years. I like to have the other one. I'm just off the bank and it's this deep. Off the bank. <laughs> I knew it would be. Where's this taquito going? Land based for yacht. That's a nice one too, ain't it? Look at that baby. Hey, what? I got a mercury dime. Mercury dime already, huh? Denny man's working up high here. Right here. Oh, yeah. If you can look at the yeah, one see, on the I back, you there. can tell. Oh, yeah. Mercury dime. Okay. Yeah. That's deep in the water and nothing out there. I found a ball cap with an aluminum ring around it. I still got that bottle cap. I mean that bottle. Neck neck bottle, that's all. It's a bad day at Black Rock. Where this tide came from, I don't know. Stand by. Got something here. 1224. Three inches. Might as well stick around and see what it is. That's three inches. This is still in the hole. But we've got to check for marbles, you know. Okay. Back in the deep. Says we got it. Says we got it that time. Uh, nope, we don't have it. Still in the hole. Marbles. Where are you, marbles? No marbles. I think it's still in the hole. Stand by while I find it. Not what I was expecting. I was platinum, I was expecting platinum. Got aluminum. That's not very good. 1204. I see a ring in the scoop. I think. I think I do. Could be a rock too. Yeah, damn. I thought that was a ring. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like a ring, doesn't it? <laughs> God. Let's see what that 1204 was. Man, I was excited as a devil there for a minute. I definitely don't see no 1204s. Oh, wait a minute, maybe I do. Maybe I do see a 1204. Come out of there, Taquito. I 
think it's a piece of aluminum. Right there. 1204. Okay. Well, I can see at least one step from here. I think that's all it is, though. Well, the one good thing about today is the tide is really dropping rapidly. You can see we could almost walk under that pipe when we get there. We'd have to bend down, whereas the other day we didn't have to always do anything. But the it's getting colder and cloudier. Here comes a monster in the air. Asperus, look at that. Dragon. <laughs> Can you see it? Damn. Look like a skate flying in the air. Mmm. I'm off a long ways now, it's still only that deep. Whereas before it had been over my uh, detector, same area. But the targets are tight, I can tell you that. It's going to be bad tomorrow, I figured we'd better go today if we were going to go. Weekend sounds terrible. Okay, enough ranting. I'm here for 10 minutes. I don't know what it is, but it's big. It appears just to be a big piece of iron. I broke it in half. Okay. Can't carry you nowhere. Huh? Can't carry you nowhere. It doesn't sound any good though. It's a 1030, 1237. 1237? It's like a penny, yeah. Well, oh, boy, a lot of copper in it, it, it or something. It, it was up in the dry sand. Yeah. It's kind of funny shape too. But it's got the right color to it. Yeah. We'll have to see I what it is. I put it on there just to give you a little heartache. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it in the pounce at first. I found it up there by... We charge 25 bucks an hour for pushing. <laughs> Here's a roundup. <laughs> There'll be no Lear jets flying this way. That is the best of it right there. You'll see a comment. It's just a rock. Well, when I rolled up in my scoop with all the other rocks, this is what I saw. This piece right here. I said, damn, look at that. It's a ring, a ring with a rock inside of it. However, it was just a rock with crap inside of it. <laughs> but for a few minutes, buddy, I was excited. One little piece of gray matter. I got uh, Denny's Mercury Dime. I think he said it was a 44. Hold on, let me find the pictures. It is a 44 Mercury Dime. And that's some kind of bling ring he found up in the dry sand. Not real. I mean, not gold, but it looks like a decorative type something. Maybe off a bathing suit or Bermuda's. He said it gave him a nitro attack too when he saw it. So we had two nitro attacks today. Our hearts were beating rapidly. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow or not. So that's going to be a nasty kind of day. Worse, worse than today. Okay, that's it. End of the roundup. Good luck to everybody. I don't know if y'all... Uh, I got some sad news I might as well share with you. We have a friend of ours named Diane Toogood. She lives in... Uh, I don't know exactly where she lives. Above... Just west of Atlantic City. 50 or 60 miles 
west of Atlantic City. And she's been battling cancer for a while. She's a big metal detector lady. I mean, this lady's found more gold coins on the beach than most people can only dream about. Now, if you all know her, she passed away Thanksgiving, I mean, New Year's Eve morning. Goodbye, Diane. I miss you.